Easing the global food crisis, the first shipment of grain since the Russian invasion leaves the Ukrainian port of Odessa. I want to turn to Ukraine for you now, where the first shipment of grain since the excuse me, the Russian invasion in February has left the southern port of Odessa. Moscow and Kyiv reached an agreement last month to resume exports through the Black Sea. The Rizzoni, first to leave, is now following a strict route through a safe corridor negotiated by the United Nations and Turkey. Our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse reports. A familiar yet unfamiliar sight. For the first time in a long time, a major artery is unblocked. And a ship which could save millions from hunger, moving slowly into hostile waters. The Rizzoni, the first grain vessel to leave Ukraine since the 24th of February, making its way out to Lebanon via Istanbul, as will all the ships in this agreement. And the hope is that it will be the first of many in a route which will allow vessels in and out of what is still an active war zone. Ukraine was seen as the world's breadbasket before this war. Five million tonnes of farm produce left its ports every month. The closure of the Black Sea has forced it to use other routes, reducing exports by more than two-thirds. Some of the world's poorest countries, with many in Africa, are Ukraine's biggest grain customers. It's a crisis which affects those far as well as near. I met Schotter. His company stores and exports grain all over the world. Exporting the grain harvest is of vital importance. Our country gathers harvests to supply many parts of the world. We must export for our farmers, for our country and to feed the world. Despite little to no trust between Ukraine and Russia, necessity seems to be driving this deal. Not just for the government, but for the crews who've been out of work since February. We work in waters all over the world, Alexander tells me. We deal with pirates and other difficulties of the sea. Ukrainian sailors are not frightened by mines or other challenges. And this route is heavily mined, and there is the risk of Russian interference. A point I put to the port authorities here. How safe do you think this route is? <laughs> it's difficult to say, uh, less than 50%, I think. And yet, you're willing, your staff are willing, and these shipping companies are willing to push through with this. Yeah, for sure, because we agreed with United Nations and with Turkey. I think they will warrant uh, the safe passage for the vessel. The hope is that the Rizzoni will be the first of many ships to make this journey in the coming days. For now, this is more symbolic than sizeable, but it's a start. James Waterhouse, BBC News, in Odessa.